production is officially underway on America's new F-47. According to Air Force Chief of Staff General David Elvin, Boeing officially began production on the first F-47 6th generation air superiority fighter just recently, with plans to have it in the air in 2028. In military aviation, revolutionary progress is often the product of measured steps and rigorous development cycles. Paradigm shifts emerge through perseverance and careful engineering, rarely arriving with fanfare. Yet the United States Air Force's decision to move forward with the first build phase of the F-47, the new Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD platform, marks a significant inflection point. This transition is not merely conceptual. With the F-47's initial manufacturing underway and a noteworthy demonstration conducted for Air Force leadership, the move to sixth-generation air power has shifted from anticipation to reality. This private demonstration, conducted for senior officials and experienced test pilots, was not a spectacle for public consumption. It was a controlled and focused presentation, its aim not to dazzle, but to provide leaders with tangible proof that NGAD's vision is materializing. The F-47 program, now targeting a first flight as early as 2028, encapsulates the Air Force's push to remain ahead in a rapidly evolving, competitive, global environment. The implications of this development resonate across strategic and operational levels. With former limitations assessed, lessons internalized from previous platforms, and a reinforced approach to integrating manned aircraft with advanced unmanned systems, the F-47 is positioned not as a mere upgrade, but as a leap forward. One born from decades of experience and the relentless pursuit of improved air dominance capabilities. How did the Air Force reach this moment? And what consequences does it carry for military balance and future operations? The answers reveal an intricate narrative woven from necessity deliberate innovation, and the constant drive to adapt. This is the story of a pivotal demonstration, one that both affirmed ongoing efforts and set a new trajectory for American air power. The road to NGAD adapting beyond legacy designs. For generations, the United States Air Force has maintained its edge through foresight, continuous innovation, and the willingness to invest in new technologies. The emergence of the F-22 Raptor ushered in an era of nearly unmatched air superiority. With its emphasis on stealth, speed, and agility, the F-22 reshaped global standards. Yet, a limited production run, inherent maintenance challenges, and export restrictions eventually highlighted its operational and strategic constraints. The F-35 Lightning II followed as a multi-role platform designed to serve both U.S. and allied needs. Emphasizing versatility and advanced networking, it brought a new dimension to multinational cooperation. Its development, however, faced complexity arising from the need to satisfy divergent requirements, resulting in compromises in areas such as performance, cost, and timeline. Over time, adversarial capabilities have advanced, including the proliferation of counter-stealth radars and integrated air defense systems. The Air Force came to recognize that holding on to legacy superiority required more than incremental updates. Instead, the NGAD initiative set out to deliver a comprehensive and adaptable solution, reconciling the shortfalls observed in the fifth generation era while anticipating new operational challenges. What distinguishes NGAD from previous programs is its systems of systems approach. The vision extends beyond a single, exquisite platform toward a networked family, including advanced piloted aircraft, unmanned collaborative combat aircraft, CCA, and robust secure communications. The goals are clear, extend survivability, enable seamless command and control, and ensure flexibility in contested and degraded environments. By 2025, strategic deliberations culminated in awarding Boeing the contract for the F-47 platform. The rollout of this decision marked a commitment to not just sustain, but expand American air dominance through a fundamental reimagining of air combat. Expectations intensified as the transition from design to manufacturing began, 
and as the prospect of a new operational paradigm came into sharper focus inside the demonstration, measured proof of progress. The F-47 NGAD demonstration was, by design, a controlled and secure event attended by key Air Force leaders and technical experts. Its purpose was not to entertain, but to authenticate the tangible progress achieved to date. Boeing's Fighter Development Division, operating relatively unimpeded by the delays that have affected other company sectors, delivered a presentation centered on practical advancements and engineering milestones. Attendees were briefed on key features under development, the integration of advanced propulsion systems, new approaches to stealth, and the fusion of sophisticated avionics and sensors. Early test elements, simulations, and design validation efforts were highlighted to illustrate how the F-47 will overcome limitations experienced with previous generations. Even at this early stage, the holistic nature of the program was apparent, emphasizing both the aircraft's core strengths and its ability to operate in concert with CCA drone wingmen. While operational details remained protected, participants noted that the F-47 capitalizes on lessons from the F-22 and F-35 programs. Specifically, it addresses prior issues of maintenance burden, network interoperability, and tactical flexibility. Its digital infrastructure is crafted to support real-time adaptation and mission upgrades in dynamic environments, and its open architecture design enables ongoing enhancements tied to evolving threats. Observers noted the clear shift in doctrine. The F-47 prototype and its virtual collaborative partners are engineered not as isolated heroes, but as components of a unified, responsive, and resilient force structure. The emphasis is on coordinated action, data-driven maneuver, and the ability to integrate manned and unmanned assets at the tactical edge. What impressed leadership most was the coherent demonstration of a system where each part, pilot, aircraft, drone, data link, works together to anticipate and counteract emerging threats. Though much remains to be revealed as development continues, this validation of design philosophy and integration potential marked a crucial step forward. The new engineering paradigm, F-47's core advances. The leap to a sixth generation platform carries expectations not just for performance edge, but for a durable and adaptable technological foundation. Boeing and the Air Force have prioritized not just incremental improvement, but comprehensive redesign where needed. At the heart of the F-47 lies its propulsion system, which is expected to deliver significant advancements in thrust, efficiency, and thermal management. Drawing on prior experience with supercruise and thrust vectoring, this new approach aims to sustain high performance during extended operations and deep strike scenarios. This capability is critical for maintaining reach and flexibility in contested airspace, where logistical support may be constrained. Stealth considerations have also evolved. Rather than relying solely on traditional shaping and surface treatments, the F-47 incorporates novel materials and mission-adaptive design principles. The focus is on reducing electromagnetic, infrared, and visual signatures holistically, adjusting them as operational requirements shift and as adversary sensors evolve. Central to the program is the fighter's networking and digital backbone, the nervous system that enables integration, cyber survivability, and rapid data sharing. The F-47 is structured to support secure, high bandwidth communications, robust cyber defenses, and automated sensor fusion. This infrastructure underpins its ability to work with CCA wingmen, relay targeting and threat data in real time, and enhance the pilot's situational awareness. The program's approach to teaming with unmanned vehicles is intentional and foundational. The collaborative combat aircraft are envisioned as more than simple extensions of the piloted platform. They are autonomous mission partners, able to take on a range of tasks from reconnaissance to electronic warfare and even strike missions. This family of systems design principle greatly increases the operational reach, survivability, and lethality of the future force. The sum of these advances is a platform that is more than the sum of its parts, a system built for sustained adaptation and dominance 
across an array of future mission sets. Strategic impact, shifting the balance. The implications of the F-47 and NGAD's broader architecture are significant, extending from tactical doctrine to global security calculations. First, on the tactical front, the combination of superior performance, stealth, and networking disrupts adversary strategies that rely on mass or layered defense. With CCA augmentation, a single F-47 formation represents not just multiple aircraft, but an integrated combat team able to distribute roles, absorb risk, and apply force with a level of coordination previously unattainable. Second, from a strategic signaling standpoint, the move to a modular and upgradable platform is designed to assure allies and deter adversaries by selecting Boeing's F-47 and committing to a public demonstration schedule, including planned appearances at events like the 2025 Fort Wayne Air Show alongside the Air Force Thunderbirds, the Air Force underscores a willingness to both lead and share. This posture reinforces coalition integration and collective security, while also setting a marker that the US is intent on retaining its technological advantage. Third, the focus on collaboration and resilience extends deterrence. The ability to adapt quickly to new threats, whether by adding new sensors, integrating updated CCA types, or refining operational software, ensures that the F-47 can remain a credible and potent asset without the need for constant reinvention. In addition, the demonstration signals industrial maturity. The Air Force's recognition of Boeing's fighter division as a reliable partner, especially given issues in other Boeing sectors, reflects a deliberate assessment that lessons from successful programs like the B-21 are being applied. The confidence in timely delivery and capability integration is a key factor in maintaining momentum and credibility. Altogether, the arrival of NGAD's first operational elements promises to recalibrate peer and near-peer threat assessments. While future adversaries will surely pursue their own innovations, the US approach to adaptability and integration presents new challenges for any potential competitor. Toward an integrated doctrine, air power for the invisible battle space. The F-47's emergence brings with it shifts not only in hardware, but also in operational philosophy and pilot experience. The sixth generation approach places as much emphasis on data coherence, cyber resilience, and mission flexibility as on maneuver and firepower. Where previous generations required substantial support infrastructure, dedicated aircraft for electronic warfare, AWACS for command and control, the F-47, enabled by CCA partners, arrives as a networked force. This allows for distributed operations, resilience under threat, and greater self-sufficiency in denied environments. One key transformation is in pilot workload and decision-making, with automation and sensor fusion shouldering many of the analytical burdens, pilots are empowered to focus on higher-order tasks, such as strategy, mission adaptation, and management of the CCA team. This reallocation of cognitive load enhances performance and reduces error under high-stress dynamic conditions. The system is designed for modular upgrades, as the threat landscape shifts from anti-access slash area denial strategies to electronic and cyber threats, the F-47's digital framework allows capabilities to be added or iterated rapidly. This approach not only future-proofs the platform, but ensures that operational doctrine evolves in step with external developments. Building partnerships, the role of demonstrations and public engagement, the forthcoming appearance of the F-47 fighter demo team at air shows, including the 2025 Fort Wayne Air Show, highlights the Air Force's intention to communicate progress, both domestically and with partners abroad. Public displays serve more than recruitment and morale functions. They provide assurance to allies that U.S. innovation continues apace and offer potential for future cooperation in strategies, procurement, and doctrine. For industry partners and the broader defense community, Boeing's progress on the F-47, especially compared to challenges in other company endeavors, reinforces confidence in the existing industrial base. The successful collaboration echoes lessons from recent bomber developments, 
and offers a template for managing high-complexity programs under tight oversight. This transparency, balanced with necessary operational security, is critical in a competitive international arena. It shapes threat perceptions, undergirds reassurance, and stimulates continuous improvement among both US and allied stakeholders. The broader context, anticipating and shaping tomorrow's conflict. Strategic planning is, at its core, about anticipating dynamics and shaping them before they materialize as threats. In pursuing NJAD and the F-47 platform, Air Force leaders have acted on a clear recognition. The nature of air combat continues to change, shaped by the interplay of new technologies, adversary innovation, and shifting geopolitical realities. The process has not been linear. Internal debates over the relative merit of manned versus unmanned solutions, trade-offs between stealth and speed, and balancing open versus secure digital architectures have all influenced the final direction. The synthesis embodied in the F-47 is a conscious balance, an adaptable system built from the lessons of complexity, development bottlenecks, and real-world operational shortfalls. The public demonstration for Air Force leadership did not signify completion, but it did mark transition from aspiration to verification, from design to production. With the Air Force targeting a 2028 first flight, the next years will see the steady integration of F-47 prototypes, systems alignment with B-21 Raider bombers and CCA drone partners, and a continued focus on operational experimentation. This momentum is central to maintaining deterrence and, when required, achieving superiority. By investing in a modular, team-oriented approach, the Air Force signals its intent to lead not just through capability, but through adaptability. As international observers pass each announcement and public display for insights, the message is clear. The pace of American innovation remains strong and the operational consequences will be felt across future contested domains. Conclusion, the next chapter in air superiority. The events surrounding the F-47 NGAD demonstration represent more than a technical milestone they signal a reaffirmation of American commitment to sustained air dominance and operational flexibility. For leaders who witnessed the program's tangible progress, the demonstration validated years of theory, debate, and design evolution. For the broader force and the public, it reflected a decisive step in modernizing tactical air power to meet new challenges. As production continues and anticipation grows for the F-47's first flight and eventual fielding, the Air Force's focus shifts from concept to operationalization. The integration of piloted and unmanned assets, robust digital frameworks, and a modular approach to upgrades ensures that American air power will remain relevant, resilient, and formidable well into the future. The consequences are wide-ranging adversaries must recalibrate their plans against a system designed for distributed, adaptive operations. Allies find reassurance in America's renewed commitment to technological and doctrinal leadership. Industry benefits from a clear signal that high-stakes projects can be managed to successful execution. In the final assessment, the F-47 NGAD stands as more than the next in a line of fighter aircraft. It represents the embodiment of hard-earned experience, deliberate innovation, and the ongoing resolve to remain at the forefront of aerial warfare. As new challenges arise, seen and unforeseen, the foundation laid by NGAD will ensure that the United States Air Force is prepared, not just to meet them, but to shape the future of air power itself.